Hello Ryan. I am so happy to be here with you and all the students. Hello. Many students have asked us to teach them more words and phrases in English. I know. They really want to speak English as a native English speaker. So yeah, I will help you with that. I will teach you some important advanced words and phrases. Awesome. We will pay attention and take notes. Go ahead, please. Sure. I know it is very important that students learn advanced English. In fact, I will teach you some advanced words you probably don't use when you speak English, but it is important you use these words because that way you will sound more native. So please pay attention and also take notes. Use these words. For example, the first word you should add to your vocabulary is apparent. It is an adjective. Something that is apparent is obvious, visible, or clear, but it's not necessarily true or factual. Something can be apparent to one person, but not so for another. For example, it was apparent to me that he was a trained dancer, but the others had no idea. Or it was apparent from her face that she was really upset. I never heard the students use this word, so please use it. Another example is derive. It is a verb. Something derived comes from something else. The term is often used when describing an idea or observation that came from another source, or describing parts that make up something. For example, vegans do not eat products derived from animals. Or many English words derived from Latin. Many people derive their self-growth from their work. Thank you for explaining, teacher. It's interesting to learn these words. Can you give us more examples? Absolutely. Let's continue. Another word is facilitate. Generally, it refers to the act of making a process easier. For example, my lawyer facilitated the process of purchasing our home, or modern devices facilitate domestic work. The new ramp will facilitate the entry for wheelchairs. Another word is monitor. To monitor means to check the welfare or status of something. Teachers have to monitor their students to make sure they're behaving. That's an example. I called my mom to help monitor the children while we were painting our home. Pursuit is another word you mentioned. What does it mean? Yes, pursuit is a verb. To pursue something means to follow or proceed on a course with the intention of completing a goal. For example, a hungry lion will pursue its prey in order to eat. Or you can pursue your goal of learning more vocabulary. I am sure you will make it. Retain is another term. The term retain simply means the ability to keep something, and it's usually used in reference to keeping possessions in different situations. For example, the play ran for twenty years but always seemed to retain its novelty. Or she managed to retain the championship. I see. These words are quite useful. What about theory? I know you have heard this word before, but you probably don't use it when you speak. It is a noun. A theory is a general idea or belief that can be about anything. A scientist can have a theory about why something happens. Just as a detective can have a theory about how a crime was committed, for example, she said she had a theory that aliens from Mars visited the Earth centuries ago. Enhance is a word that caught my attention. What does it mean? Good question. When you enhance something, you make it better or more advanced. It is a verb. 
The word can be applied to literally anything you want to make better, but the term is commonly used in reference to technology. For example, the company installed new software to enhance productivity, or, because friendships enhance our lives, it is important to cultivate them. People believe that speaking English will enhance their job opportunities or promotion opportunities. Precise is another word you mentioned. How is it used? Use precise when you want to state or indicate that something is absolutely true or correct. Another interesting word is waffle. It means to speak or write at length vaguely or trivially. For example, stop waffling about it, or I'll pull your tongue out. Or, my wife often tells me I waffle. If you want to sound professional, don't waffle. Concede is a word I've heard before. Can you explain its meaning? Certainly. Concede means to admit or agree that something is true after first denying or resisting it. For example, after repeated requests from the bureaucrats, he finally conceded, or the president is not expected to concede these reforms. Infringe is another interesting word. How is it used? Infringe is a verb. It means to actively break the terms of a law, agreement, etc. For example, he infringed the agreement by opting out just after 20 days into the contract, or people fear that security cameras could infringe on personal liberties. I get it. Catch up is a phrase we often use. How can we use it? You can use catch up as a verb instead of saying meet. It's an informal way, of course. Let's catch up today. It is another way of saying, let's meet today. Coherent is a word I haven't used much. What does it mean? Coherent is an adjective. It means logical or strategically sound. For example, he appeared hardly capable of conducting a coherent conversation, or they were never a coherent group. The film lacked a cohering story. Thank you for teaching us these advanced words, teacher. We really appreciate your help. I am so happy to help you. If you want more advanced vocabulary, let me know. Thank you, teacher. These advanced words are really interesting, and we appreciate you taking the time to explain them to us. We'll definitely try to incorporate them into our conversations to sound more native. Yeah, these words are kind of like hidden gems in the English language. I never thought about using them before, but now I see how they can add more depth to what we say. Thanks for the examples, too. The examples really helped in understanding how to use these words in different contexts. I'll make sure to take notes and practice using them. Can you share more advanced words in the future? I'm glad you found the lesson helpful. Of course, I can share more advanced vocabulary in the future. Just let me know what areas you're interested in, and we can explore more together. These words make our language skills more nuanced. I didn't realize how much I was missing out on by not using them. It's like unlocking a new level of expression. Thanks a lot, teacher. The way you explained each word and provided examples made it easy to grasp their meanings. I'll definitely try to incorporate these into my everyday speech. It's like building a richer vocabulary palette. I'm delighted to see your enthusiasm for learning. Remember, language is a dynamic tool, and the more words you have at your disposal, the more effectively you can communicate. 
Don't hesitate to ask if you have any more questions or if there's anything specific you'd like to learn in the future. Keep up the great work.